before the hour, Michael Patrick Shields, radio stations across the state of Michigan and Fox 47 television in the Lansing and Jackson area in our AT&T studio right now, the mayor of the city of Lansing, our state capital, Verge Bernero. Welcome back. Well, thank you so much. Great to be here. Rocking the cardigan there. That's very nice. Very cozy. That's, uh, it's, a, it's Italian cardigan. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. And Peter Lark is here, the CEO of the Lansing Board of Water and Light. Nice to see you again. Very nice to see you. It's been a couple of weeks anyway since the last time. We met on the sideline down there at the uh, Michigan State game. Now, um, just let me get a little bit of politics out of the way, if I can. Um, there's a talk that Rick Snyder is reelected in two years. There's some names bandied about of people who might decide to run against him. Well, will you or will you not be one of them? Uh, I haven't said, but I guess this is as good a time as any to say I have no plans to run. No plans to run doesn't mean you won't. Yeah, I pretty much won't. I'm going to run for reelection for mayor next year. Mm-hmm. And, Pretty uh, much won't. Can you imagine a campaign? Uh, maybe, maybe it's not you. Can you imagine a campaign right now? How would you present it in order to beat him? What oh, be I can't tenets? imagine it. You know, we just got off the heels of the campaign. I hate to, to uh, I don't want to be a party pooper on the subject, but uh, <laughs> um, I just, having just gotten over this campaign, I'm delighted that the president was reelected. Uh, we worked on that. We worked on Stabenow's campaign. Uh, come to find out, it was a busy election year, even though I wasn't on the ticket. Yeah, uh, you but, were in uh, high demand. I feel like we came out in great shape, and you know, as mayor, I continue to focus uh, truly, Michael Patrick, on uh, working with the folks that are in power. That means the Democrats and Republicans in Washington. But delighted to be working with the Democratic president uh, and working with the Snyder administration here in, in uh, Lansing, really right across the street, to try to get things done for Lansing. If uh, Mark Schauer or Senator Whitmer or maybe Gary Peters, one of these people, decide they're going to run against the governor, having run for governor, what advice would you give them right out of the gate? Uh, have your running shoes. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Make sure the, the debates are scheduled ahead of time. The, they know as much about politics. I, right, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, get those debates nailed down. Because this is a, a bit of a negotiating tool now. You had trouble getting a debate uh, with Governor Snyder, very famously. Pete Hoekstra and, and Senator Stabenow never debated once. In their election, Justin Amash dodged a debate out there. Maybe you don't. Maybe that's the way to do it. Get uh, out front and don't look yeah. back. Well, I really think for governor uh, and maybe for the U.S. Senate, but certainly for governor, you know, sort of like you have the presidential commission mm -hmm. on debates. I really think that there needs to be uh, a, a commission for gubernatorial g debates. Uh, I wish that somebody would step up and do that, uh, and and just establish two or three. Um, and I think enough people could do I mean, the, the, there are the institutions there that could do it and institutionalize it and, and put it on TV. I mean, this, mm -hmm. there was part of the debate was about, okay, well, we, we'll debate, but it'll only be on certain stations or there can't be, it, it won't be on TV, it won't be on radio. I mean, this is nonsense. It's got to be completely open. It's got to be televised in this day and age. Give me a break. Uh, so uh, hopefully we can take the politics out of that. Fair is fair. Uh, Mr. Lark, we just this morning, Jordan Crimmins put up our Christmas tree, so our power bill is going to go up just a bit. But we wanted to beat the state to the punch because they're right around the corner. <laughs> and the state tree, as I understand it, is what, 74 feet tall or something like that, the tallest in a long time. Ours is not quite that tall, somewhere under 74 feet. But it's beautiful, though. Well, thank you very much. It looks much. as though you're using LED lights, which is very efficient to do. Does it? Oh, good. We're green. Our tree is green, and it's an Irish tree, so it's green, too. That's now, the beautiful. big show, though, is Friday. Silver bells in the city, and there'll be people here, of course, in the Grand Traverse Pie Company. They'll be in, in every storefront, in every lobbying office, you imagine. There'll be the parade and the fireworks and then the concert and all the rest of it, weather permitting, of course. This must be one of your favorite days of the year. It really is. You know, we at the BWL are very proud to be the signature sponsor of uh, Silver Bells in the City, as we have been for many, many years. Uh, you mentioned the tree, for example. There are going to be 5,000 LED lights on that tree. Um, we at the BWL, of course, have strung them all. Uh, happy to do that. We've got some wreaths downtown. You see those on the lampposts and at various intersections. So we're really um, pitching in, and it is a very exciting time of the year. You know, I, I'll add too. Uh, the last, certainly the last five or six years when I've been there as part of the BWL, it's been very, very positive experience to be down among all those people. Uh, I got to say, in past years before I was at the BWL, I would brush by it, but really looking at all those children having all that fun and all those. The adult children as well. Uh, it's just a super event. And 100,000 people, how can you go wrong? I know some of those adult children, yes. in fact, <laughs> that you're talking about. And uh, I'll be up on a roof of uh, the Treasury Building because Fox 47 is going to show the parade for the first time in addition to uh, WKAR. So they've added me to the to the broadcast team. So I'll be up there in the 
in the wind looking down on the parade like like Batman in the in the movie, you know? It's going to be exciting for you. Fantastic. Yeah, and it's right there. And so if you're listening anywhere in the state or watching in Jackson maybe, uh, this is a – when you see the state capitol and the Christmas tree and the fireworks over it, you don't have to be from Lansing to appreciate the significance of that. Oh, this is – this what? is a community-wide uh, mid-Michigan festival. I mean, more and more. These thousands of people will come. It really is the kickoff to the holiday season. Uh, so many people look forward to this. They've added silver bells as one of their holiday. It is the, the lead holiday tradition. Uh, as you know, Santa makes his first appearance. Uh, he'll be there in the parade. What about the parade you guys host, Peter? You'll have a few lights it's, in that as it's well. It's Disney-esque, isn't it? It really is. And, and speaking of Disney, we have one of their stars here as well, Coco Jones, a uh, young woman who's going to be part of the parade. I think she'll be riding on the BWL, BWL float, and she's going to be doing a concert afterwards. So that should be exciting for uh, many people in Lansing. I think she particularly appeals to younger people and teens, but but still, it's a great event to get a star from Disney here. At, uh, Performing at the Capitol, yeah. the lawn of the Capitol. Anecdotally, you know, just as you look down the storefront, because we're right in the middle of downtown, I see new businesses opening all the time. Is that uh, is that me, or is that really happening? No, that is happening. Great things are happening in downtown, it's true. Uh, we'll have even more things happening uh, all along Michigan Avenue with the passage of the Red Cedar uh, mm -hmm. initiative that was just on the ballot. Uh, and speaking of things to celebrate uh, with the past election, we got a 70-30 voter approval on that. Uh, you know, it would give it a chance. Voters will say yes to economic development. So uh, we're, we're stepping it up downtown and, and all along Michigan Avenue. Yeah, you've been talking for a long time about connecting Michigan State to downtown, and that would be a significant part of that bridge. Absolutely. Well, you, exactly. I mean, the, that, that really is the gateway to Lansing and East Lansing uh, off 127, and all that's going to be vastly improved with the Red Cedar Renaissance. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Travel safely. We'll see you Friday downtown. Look forward to it, Michael. Fantastic. Thank you it very much, and it's an honor to be a part of it. Indeed, on Fox 47, you can watch the parade on the same channel you're watching this program. Right now, it's Michael Patrick Shields, Lansing Mayor Verge Bernero, and the CEO of the Lansing Board of Water and Light, Peter Lark, and we're all back in a flash.